Hello, people of viewers, welcome to Mr. Reviews. Today, I'm going to be Season 2, Episode 2, Dr. Disorders. And there's a giant ghost. Why? Um, what was the other thing? A oh, bug, let's just say. He's going around the school and Danny is trying to stop it. Uh, he accidentally blasts it apart into a swarm of bugs, and eventually they go into some students and cause them to have like ghost powers. Um, and that's gets one that Danny really uh, beats him up, but then he just turns back into normal. Anyway, after that, the parents were talking to the teacher, but it turns out the students are being quarantined. And this creepy looking doctor with gray skin just talking to his parents and saying you have to bring them to the creepy hospital down the street. <sighs> I said this one woman then did uh, they don't do what he says, so they can use my bed actually this one. I also in this uh the uh the show that Tupper is afraid of medical places like the nurse's office, doctor's office, hospitals in general. And it turns out the bugs don't uh, bite him or it's a face in his skin because of his uh, homemade uh, body odor spray. I don't know. And then he tries to sneak in to the hospital because that. Uh, Jazz and Sam are there, and just sing thumbs up. Well, it turns out today he's at the gold shield, so he tries to get in, by the uh, talkers are saying he uh, has the same thing as other kids have. And he goes to get in, and he just saw uh, all the kids having different powers. And for some reason, Jazz is just a head in there. What does it go there? He's not supposed to be. And Guan had the, the multiplication power or duplicate power, whatever you call it. And over here, he's the Asian footballer. He's kind of an idiot. And it turns out that the doctor doesn't really do anything, just to test, so he to fix the problem. So it turns out that this is a whole scheme by Spectre of the Venomous from the yeah, so, uh, my bird keeper and during the game the kids go powers because trying to get new body to possess and just trying to take all the best parts from the kids and trying to get the uh, Danny's uh, ability to turn them or something. He just has the his key to the uh, keep his body or something. And when he tries taking some, from Danny, probably just some of DNA, or from Danny actually uses the, the handkerchief that his dad gave him, his, he, uh, he said it belongs to his grandfather, into this Tucker thing, I don't know what it's going to call it. And Tucker does go in, after calling him, calling him always, to saying that, you know, like, the guy's in trouble, or you have clients to help, and, in technique for him. Oh yeah, the Phantom Invention in this episode is basically a ghost elliptic laser thing. I don't know. There's no better ones, and there's probably a better ones, so I guess I have to get that out of the way. I mean, just rescues Danny, and Danny just uh, take care of the Spectre's uh, assistant portraits. And the doctor's name is Brook Rent. I'm the same guy, so I don't know why they just split the, the name in half. In that case, it's not home. I don't know. Anyway, this is the fight between uh, Danny and Spectre, and the events we just said throw the dog's uh, head to just, just, just smash it. But one captain tells his other self to go wrong. 
didn't do that. The top of those catapult again. Why did he tell his other cell to go wrong? Did he not see the new head there? Ugh. Anyway, that's the fact of thinking that I need that uh, Jane's got after he's gonna get all powerful. It turns out Flora has turned into Jack and then turned a body into snot. Because the DNA that got left to got from Jack was his snot. So she got that DNA by his hair, that made her body was a bit super hairy. I don't get it. And anyway, eventually Danny just defeats her, but Tucker is the one that actually saves the day when he uses his uh, spray to get all the ghost bugs out of his kids, and Danny just sets uh, them into the Benton term as well. But then Sam falls uh, on Tucker to go to her ghost power with basically levitating, and so uh, when uh, that went, then uh, Tucker was in a hospital. And uh, then it just gets worse when his roommate is the every man who kept keep on talking that so when he was a kid, like saying, that's a more day you didn't have TV, you got radio, and stuff like that. And he tried, well, the other he saw, but he got upset. He tried to uh, go out the window. Kind of funny. I don't know how you do it since he has a cat on, but funny. This is the uh, okay episode, first of when the old one, no, actually, second of the old, when the old ones come back, when the best ones, I think. And I thought, because this is one of my favorite episodes of season one. And this also shows that even though Tucker was uh, scared going to the Possible he went in anyway to continue uh, dining the health. So, uh, that's good. And um, overall, this is a cool episode, so I'll give it uh, 8 out of 10. Now, I'm not all the time, so I think the next episode, another uh, old, uh, old villain comes back with a brand new one. Uh, the game just needs to kid blood. Not kid blood, but a young blood. But, and, and, uh, yeah. Of course, yeah. the film. But I don't know if that episode or this is another episode that's, that's next. But it's a great episode. Wait and see. Until then, part two. See you guys later.